Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Managing Content. In this tutorial, we will learn to create new content, manage content, and revisions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Operating System, Drupal 8, and Firefox Web Browser. You can use any web browser as per your choice. Let us open our website which we created earlier. Now we will learn how to create new content. We will add our first event. Click on content. Click on add content and choose events. We will set up a sample event to demonstrate some things that we have set up. I will type Drupal Camp Cincinnati in the event name field. In the event description field, type, this is the first Drupal camp in the southern Ohio region. Note that the create new revision checkbox is turned on here. We don't have to do anything over here on the right hand side. Leave the event logo as blank for now. But we do want an event website. So we'll type the URL as http colon slash slash drupalcampcincinnati dot org In the link text, we will leave this blank. The display would just be the actual URL, so we will do that for now. When we click on the event date, a little calendar pops up. Let's select January 11th, 2016. Now we can't add any event sponsors yet because we don't have any user groups set up. Another important Drupal feature is inline entity reference. It allows you to add user groups on the fly. But we will learn about this later. We have some event topics. Let us type I and select Introduction to Drupal. Click on Add another item. This time we will type M. Notice that all the topics that have an M in it will show up. So let's select module development. You can choose other topics if you want. Then click save and publish. Here is our Drupal Camp Cincinnati node. The title, the body, the event website, which is automatically a link, but it doesn't really exist. We can change this event date format if we want. This is a taxonomy. If this link is clicked, every single event tagged to Introduction to Drupal would be available and will be listed in publication date order. We have just created our very first event node successfully. Now let's click on Shortcuts and Add Content. And this time, let's add our user group. We will call this as Cincinnati User Group. In the User Group Description field, type This is the user group from the Southern Ohio region based in Cincinnati. We meet on the third Thursday of every month. We can also add more information there. The URL for this user group is https colon slash slash groups dot drupal dot org slash cincinnati. It's non-existent as of now, but this is how it would usually appear. To find a user group in your area, come to groups dot drupal dot org. Then do a quick search based on what you might be interested in. There are many user groups around the world. In group contact, let's type Drupal space group. And in the contact email, type Drupal group at email.com. Note that this should be a properly formatted email address. Otherwise, Drupal will reject it. Choose group level from the multiple options here. And in Event Sponsored, we have to choose an event. If you just type D, Drupal Camp Cincinnati will appear in the drop-down. 
Click Save and Publish. We have successfully created our first user group. Now we will learn about managing our content. If you click on content, we will get a list of all the content on our site. It doesn't matter what content type it is, we can see all the content. We can filter by publish status, content type, and by title. If we type W here and click filter, we will only get the nodes which begin with W. Click on reset. If we have multiple languages, we can choose another language as well. And once we've got our list, we can select more than one node at a time and do some things like delete, make it sticky, promote it, publish it, etc. So I'll select unpublish content and click on apply. Notice that the status of my selected nodes has been updated to unpublished. This is the easiest place to manage content. Let's select all the nodes at once, click on publish and then on apply. It doesn't matter if some are already published, now all the content is published. We can also edit or delete a single node here or select a batch of nodes and delete the content. Managing content in Drupal is quite simple. Just click on the content link in the toolbar and it brings you to this page. Using the tabs at the top, we can manage the comments that have been made and also the files that have been uploaded in any file field. To view the image, click on it and it will open on the screen. To see where the image is used, click on the Places link. It gives us a list of nodes where the file is used. We can manage our content, comments and files from the content link in the administration toolbar. Now let's add a comment to one of our nodes. I'm going to add a comment, Great node, fantastic content. Click Save. Since we are logged in as the super user, everything is already approved for us. We don't actually have to do anything. If you set up comments for approval, then you can click Content, Comments, and you'll be able to manage them here. For example, bulk publish comments or delete them from the screen. Managing content, comments, and files is all done from one place in Drupal. Next, let us update a node or make a change to a node and see how revisions works. Click on home link to come to the home page. Click on quick edit on Drupal Camp Cincinnati. Let's add some more content to the body of this node. There is another great camp in Columbus every October. Click save. And now click on Drupal Camp Cincinnati and you'll see a new tab called Revisions. Click on Revisions and you'll see that admin has updated this node at 2.37 and it's the current version. The old version is also available. On clicking it, we can look at the old version which doesn't have the second paragraph. To go back, Click on Revisions. Then we can either revert or delete that old version. There are other modules that make this a little easier. But Drupal has complete version control built in. So you know who and when changes were made to any given node. And you can revert back whenever you want. So version control in Drupal is built in and really helpful. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about creating contents, managing contents, and revisions.
This video is adapted from Acquia, an OS training, and revised by Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. The video at this link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial Project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, Ministry of Human Resource Development, and NVLI, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This is Varsha Venkatesh signing off. Thanks for joining.